Hi, today I'd like to cover a technique uh, of classical music called the Alberti bass. Alberti was a composer, only, I think he died when he was 30 years old, lived in, uh, the 17th, in the 1700s, and he used this style a great deal, but subsequent, a lot of composers like Mozart used it after him. Uh, for example, uh, well, let me just show you what it is first of all. You take any chord like this, any three-note chord, and you can make a pattern out of it by playing bottom, top, middle, top, bottom, top, middle, top. And that's all there is to it. If it was a G chord, you play bottom, top, middle, chord. If you have a four note chord, such as G seventh, you'll have to leave one, one note out. You can go bottom, top, and middle, top, or bottom, top, middle, top. Doesn't matter which one you play. It just has to be a chord note, okay? If you were on C, it would be bottom, top, middle, top, bottom, top, middle, top. And it can be used to a great, uh, great as I said, Mozart used it a great deal, but other composers have as well. For example, if you were playing uh, Away in a Manger, you could get a nice music box sound by playing. Got to be careful your hands don't run together like mine just did. I'll move it down. down like a like a uh, music box winding down another song you might use it on is like angels we have heard in on high now it's best to use it in combination with something else because it gets kind of boring if you do it over again so if I was playing that, I might do that first section like that, and then... In other words, combine it with a bigger sound. Okay, it's called the Alberti Bass, and it's very, very usable. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.